have you ever wondered what might happen when you take a Dawn 71 and then put absolutely monstrous vanilla tires on it and then you do the vanilla in-game lift and then you take it to TNB Trails to see if it can actually go rock crawling? Well, fortunately for you, you don't have to wonder because I already did and I did the experiment for you and you just have to watch and see what happens because I guarantee you it's going to be entertaining. I can't necessarily guarantee that it's going to be uh, successful, but it is going to be entertaining. So diving into this challenge, I was a little, I don't even know the right way to say it. I was a little nervous, but nervous was even not necessarily the best way to describe it. I was honestly kind of in disbelief as to whether or not we were even going to succeed at this challenge. So with that in mind, uh, I picked one of the most difficult trails that I possibly could because that's, you know, smart, I guess. <laughs> that's entirely smart and that's totally a super smart thing to do because that's a decision that you would make when you're, I don't know, making logical SnowRunner decisions, which logical SnowRunner decision making was not involved in this process. So if you were expecting us to approach this with... I don't know, like a plan? Oh, well, you probably expect a little bit too much because aside from where we're going, I had literally zero plan. And when I say I had zero plan, I, I, y'all, I literally had zero plan. It was so bad that it was down to the level where I was on my way down to this trail and on the way down, I wasn't even sure if I was going to take that trail to begin with. I, even at this stage, I hadn't fully made up my mind on where I actually wanted to go. But even already, the little Dawn 71 was already starting to show a couple of its potential problems, including, but not, definitely not limited to the fact that this thing literally, it basically finds itself in the position where if you're going up any sort of an incline with this suspension kit, you literally just pull the front tires off the ground. And I'm not even joking. It completely unweights the front end. And of course, with that, I was already starting to have issues. So I could have probably turned around and picked a better trail for this thing. But I decided to essentially just continue on because that's totally the intelligent decision to make here. And of course, credit where credit is due. This little thing is already doing much better than I thought it was going to do. I didn't even think it was going to make it up the initial hill, to be honest. I know that these things are capable-ish, and I know that this upgraded vanilla tire pack is also... I mean, we've tested it before on a couple of other vehicles, and it's also capable-ish, I would call it, but it's certainly not on the level of any of the modded tires I've used. And if you want to try something in SnowRunner that's definitely going to be more of a challenge than coming out to TNB trails with your average rock crawler mod. I mean, hell, you can always try this. And it's, I don't know, it's definitely not going to be your most uh, average of challenges. It's, it's wacky. It's honestly super wacky. So as long as you're prepared for it to legitimately be wacky, then you'll probably be fine ish maybe or you'll roll over a million times and wind up down in the bottom of a ravine but rollovers and ravines aside this is actually one of the more fun challenges that i've personally tried in snowrunner and actually honestly quite a while because it kind of changes up your perspective on what vehicles are capable of what because look at what this little thing is doing right now like it's not even well Ah, uh, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's not struggling. It's, it's struggling. Um, but it's not necessarily struggling enough to where I would say, well, it's having an impossible time. Now, right here, this was 100% driver error. I will take full responsibility for this because I binned it and then I rolled it and I almost put it in the ravine below. Although, I've got to admit, actually, I was kind of proud of the way I did this winch recovery because we could have, this could have been so bad. This could have been bad on a level that literally had us down at the bottom of the ravine and having to start completely over from scratch. And I'm super glad that we didn't have to do that. But make no mistake, we got really, really close. Like, if I had rolled maybe one or two feet farther, 
uh, definitely not even two feet, probably like a foot farther, it would have been, it would have been over and done with. Uh, the only reason why I was able to save it there was by literally putting it in reverse and crossing my fingers and hoping for the best. And obviously I know that that's really not what you're supposed to do in literally any situation, but in that one in particular, thankfully it worked out. And I know some of you might think that this is a little bit off topic, or at least what I'm about to say is a little bit off topic, but trust me, it is. Trust me, I'm attempting to stick to the topic at hand. I'm not always the best at it, but I'm attempting. So this thing's stock, like factory suspension tuning, I know it's a vanilla rig, but the stock suspension tuning is so incredibly, like, it's so incredibly unrealistic. It's not even funny. This thing bounces like nobody's business. It bounces constantly. And the suspension itself is so soft and squishy. It could essentially just be made out of, um, what even would it be made out of? Like extremely soft foam essentially is what this suspension feels like. It feels like it has all give and then so little rebound that when it eventually does rebound, it's just like... It's nothing but a big mess of constant squish. And it's not exactly, uh, not exactly rewarding to drive because of that. And yeah, sure, I get it. Vanilla balance this, vanilla balance that, vanilla game this, vanilla game that. And I'm like, oh, if you think that the suspension dynamics of this Dawn 71 are genuinely like realistic suspension behavior, I you might need to look at more examples of suspension behavior because I mean it's just it's so unstable and it constantly has so much squish that there's literally nothing you could do to there's nothing you could do in game to improve it aside from and you know aside from essentially just lowering it back down which I completely get that that's probably what you would technically do to fix this, but at the same time, it's SnowRunner. I don't, I don't, I don't want to lower my vehicles back down. If I'm going to put a lift kit on something, I put it on there for a reason, and I have absolutely no interest in lowering my suspension, and, you know, I'm sure that there's going to be someone out there that's going to say, well, you just need to lower it anyway, don't you? And I'm like, well... Believe it or not, there are some vanilla vehicles in this game that would genuinely be better if they had better suspension tunes. I, I know that I can't be the only one that feels this way. And also, this is probably a good time to tell you that we didn't make it past this spot. This is as far as we got. And I tried every single possible different line I could try over and over and over and over again. I even gave this thing entirely fresh fuel. I completely repaired everything and I just kept trying over and over and over, but it was just too steep for it to actually grab any traction. And also the rock grip was honestly so bad that there was almost nothing, there was almost nothing I could do. But nevertheless, I literally just kept trying and trying and trying and trying again. And then almost giving up and then trying again. And well, let's just say you, at the very least, you cannot say that I did not attempt every single angle of this. And granted, there is obviously the angle of, well, if you had tried every angle, then you would have made it to the top. But at the same time, every vehicle in this game does technically have its limits. And I'm pretty damn sure we found the limit of the little Dawn. But with that being said, though, y'all, let me know in the comments down below if there are any other challenges that you would like me to attempt on a map like TNB Trails or really any other um, hardcore-ish rock crawling map, you know, with a vanilla vehicle that has been built out as far as it will go. Because it is a really interesting premise for a challenge and it is fun to do. It just becomes a little bit less fun when you get into a situation like this where you've essentially maxed out the capacity of the vanilla vehicle at hand and it just can't go any farther. But like I said before, leave any of your thoughts, opinions, or suggestions in the comments down below. And that is going to do it for this video and of course for this challenge. And I will see y'all in the next one. Talk to y'all later.